you need money oh. let me tell you period it's as simple as that there is no other way around it money is not everything but as far as the matters of economy is concerned you will be surprised how crippled your life will be are we together now the person who is sick cannot reach the hospital but the person who is poor everything you need is around you but the wherewithal to make it yours that is even more disastrous if you bring something for a sick person to eat the person may not have the energy so it's not an issue of is that the appetite is not there but a poor man will pass every shop available everything available but the means to connect it to your destiny is not there and remember when we talk about finances i will emphasize again that this is not some mundane carnal quest for materialism but let me tell you i'm a responsible man of god and i believe in responsible christianity that administers to you the whole counsel of god anyone who tells you to downplay the relevance of finances is joking first with himself and then you are we together the name of jesus christ is very heavy it takes financial resources to take it high enough for the nations to see the needs that surround your life most of us here if we were to read your prayer request over 70 to 80 percent of them will largely be dependent on finances finance is very important because it can solve so many things cannot give you peace but it can enhance the atmosphere that gives you peace let me tell you one of the reasons one of the ways you become a peacemaker on earth is to have the means to give to caesar what belongs to caesar and give to god what be, if you are owing caesar doesn't matter your relationship with god as far as caesar is concerned the tribute collectors will come to disgrace you when jesus was ministering they came and said you claim to be a man teaching righteousness yet you are owing the law so you must know how to give to caesar what belongs jesus acknowledged that there are some things that belong to caesar i want to pray for you the kind of christian experience where you love jesus christ but then you are being incapacitated economically i've told you that many people because of this economic backwardness it can tilt you towards the corridors of compromise god can bless you so bless you huh, that you solve your financial problems it does not become a concern again your concern now becomes building destiny and the purposes of god thinking about money day and night is idolatry is a cause it was never supposed to be that way there is nobody an intelligent god will not design a human being to be obsessed and thinking about money because what you think about that worry is a kind of worship are we together it says let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable many believers love the lord but this finance thing especially within the you know you do not want to compromise your faith but then it must finance listen until you know how to force finance to answer especially co-laborers those who are in ministry here listen to me in all you're getting trust god for grace to sort this money thing once and for all this is not an issue of pride this is this is until that is solved i guarantee you there is a, a man a kind of concentration you will never have as far as destiny is concerned are we together yeah the absence of finance is one of the biggest sponsors of compromise even in our world today many people who love the lord are forced to bend over and compromise give to caesar what belongs to caesar let me pray for you in the name of jesus it says haven't obtained help from the lord i continue to this day i pray for someone the dimension of wealth you have not seen i call upon my god the god of jeshuron the one who rides upon the wings of the wind may my god surprise you 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 open up strange financial gates for you connect you to strategic helpers give you wisdom to manage and multiply your resources in the name of jesus christ hear me and your acquisition of financial resources will not be at the expense of your relationship with jesus the wealthier you are the more passionate you will be about the things of god with it you will be a blessing to many with it you will be a blessing to yourself listen 
I'm not praying for you for money to just buy tea and bread. You don't need my prayer for that to happen. Just be valuable. I'm praying for you to become a trustee. A trustee of the wealth of the kingdom. Receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. Thou hast caused men to ride upon our heads. We walk through water and through fire. And thou broughtest us into a wealthy place. A man can be helped by God. May that be your portion. Yeah.